for when our base is greater than 1. Again, for exponential, we know we're going to pass to the point 0, 1, but that we increase now. What this means for the logarithm is that we'll pass to the point 1, 0, but we'll look like that. Thus, the logarithmic graph passes again through the point 1, 0, but it has this behavior. What I do want you to notice is that when we look at our exponentials, Our exponentials are mirror, image of e mirror images of each other across the vertical line. So when b is greater than 1, we get a er mirror image of when b is in between 0 and 1. For our logarithms, we also have a mirror image, but this mirror image is across the x or the horizontal line. So between 0 and 1 is a mirror image of when b is greater than 1. Both of these graphs have a constant point that is true no matter what base we have. For exponentials, we know that any base raised to the zero power will be one. For logarithms, any base, if it's log base b of one, will be zero. And lastly, we look at domain and range. For exponentials, we can plug in any x value. So domain is negative infinity to infinity. But Whatever we plug in for x, we only get positive values for our output. Thus, the range is 0 to infinity. For logarithms, these roles are reversed. Thus, for logarithms, we can only plug in positive values for our input. And we see that here, that our graph only exists on the right side where x is positive. But we can get any value for our output. You should definitely know these characteristics about exponential logarithmic functions. Know their basic function equation. Know the two different graphs for each one, making note of their constant points, and then know the domain and the range for each one. Okay, if that makes sense, we're going to talk about common and natural logarithms now. If not, pause the video. Don't go on to this next part until you make sense of the basics of exponential and logarithmic functions and their graphs. OK. Many math problems, you'll see just this, log base 2, for example. When you see log base 2 without any base given, that is assumed to have a base of 10, and that's called the common logarithm. So a common logarithm is assumed to have a base 10. It's written as a log without a base, and that's known to mean log base 10. The natural logarithm, which is written as ln, is understood to be a log with a base of e. Thus, the common log and the natural log are two specific examples of logarithms with special bases. Common log is just log base 10. Natural log is a log base e. To apply this, let's go ahead and try example 3, where we have these four problems. Try it on your own first, and then go on to the next video when you're ready to see the solutions.